Welcome to another Warcraft Rumble video. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. The Thanksgiving event is live in game, guys. And we have two new minis that have been added to the game. So in today's video, we're going to have a look at those two minis. Are they good? Are they not? Is it worth going for them? And first, I want to say a big shout out to Blizzard for sponsoring today's video. If you guys want to try out Warcraft Rumble, you can do so by clicking the link in the description down below or in the pinned comment. The event is pretty juicy, guys. Tons and tons of rewards. So make sure you guys are engaging with it. We have 13 days left. Uh, that gives you plenty of time to start collecting uh, uh, all of those tickets and uh, basically redeem them for rewards. Now, as I mentioned, two new minis. One of them is not as new as you might think because we've seen this mini in the game before. Not part of our decks, but part of special events, right? So I'm talking about the trend. Uh, I feel like the very first time when they introduced him into the game as a uh, modifier to quests was when they introduced the Scenarium family, if I'm not mistaken. So basically, this is a group mini, guys. Uh, it doesn't have a specific cost. The more gold you use, the more you summon. So the seeds of this gold surging sapling squad summon one additional tra uh, trend per gold spent. And if you have the right talent, you can actually get a lot of them up and running. Now, of course, being a group mini, guys, uh, it's not going to be the tankiest. It's not going to deal the craziest damage. Melee, Surge, Vulnerable, Squad, Armored, very slow. Decent is held, but still nothing crazy. They're going to die pretty quick. 600 damage, let's just say it's not bad, actually. Not bad. I don't have a talent on uh, either of them at the moment, actually. Uh, if I would be to pick a talent, so we have composting on that heal nearby allied minis, uproot on that root the target for three seconds, and uh, propagation summon two extra trends for every three gold spent on deploy. So if you use six gold, uh, you're going to get a lot of them out, right? Now, the whole idea is that uh, I'm a big fan of crawl control and uproot would be my main pick. On that, root the target for 3 seconds. That can give you the upper hand to have more troops being deployed, to have more troops heading towards that direction and wreck the enemy. So, uproot, in my opinion, is the, is the way to go. So, this is one of the minis, guys. We're going to try them in battle as well, just to kind of like get an idea of how uh, useful they can be. We have a new spell, uh, and this is very similar with uh, the Earth and Moon spell, in a way or another. So this comes at a cost of 3 gold, is named Eclipse, and it can deal damage. Totality Duality, rotate between moon, magic, and solar power, calling down damaging beams from the heavens. Spell Elemental Eclipse, AoE, guys, 2696 damage. Really interesting. Uh, the radius, 4, is not the biggest radius. Uh, we have moon dot and sun damage. Now. Uh, the sun damage definitely seems more uh, interesting. And it's not just because of the big numbers. If we're going to head over to the actual talents, uh, we're going to have the solar flare. Sunfire also burns enemies. That's what I like about it. Then we have Umbral Force. Moonfire also stuns enemies for one second. <laughs> I know what you guys are thinking. And then we have Celestial Focus. Spells gain two levels if played immediately after Sunfire or Moonfire. So if you're building a deck with a lot of spells, Celestial Focus can be nice. Personally, I'm not that type of a player that runs four spells in the deck or three spells or for what matters, even two spells. Sometimes I run one, sometimes I run none. Okay, so I'm betting more on Solar Flare or Umbral Force, Crowd Control. The only thing is the stun is only for one second. So I don't really think it's going to offer us a lot of value. Yes, it can be nice in some situations. But to be honest, I'm leaning more towards Solar Flare this time around over the crowd control. So we're going to run them in this deck, guys. We have, uh, of course, Tyrion. We're going to have a safe pilot. We're going to have the Griffon Rider, the Fire Elemental Tank. We're going to have the Troll. And we're going to do... One or two PvE matches. We're going to do a PvP match as well. And uh, see how effective uh, these new minis actually are. So if... Let me just quickly claim this. Because I forgot to do it. 
if I'm going to quest, we should be able to uh, to get similar level on the enemies, right? Because I don't really have them uh, at high level. They're only rares. I haven't got them to epic or anything like that just yet. Okay, so level 23. I think my spell might be level 21, if I'm not mistaken. So either way, check this out. We have the trends, right? I'm going to go in with all of them. Look at that. <laughs> A full army of uh, trends. Pretty nice. But you see, they are getting uh, wrecked pretty quick now. There is, uh, of course, flying... Uh, they are, they, we have some flying units right there. And you see the range on the spell is pretty small. Uh, even though I try to basically uh, get everything around it, those three vultures still survived, or a couple of them. So definitely not, uh, not the, the best range on the spell. That's my main complaint about the spell, by the way, the range. The range is the problem. Let's put a troll in there to assist us a bit. And we're going to deploy some, uh, some of these uh, trends once the troll is closer to us. We're going we're gonna to take over. Oh, okay. It just went down instantly. Forget about it. We're not going to take over nothing. Not just yet, anyway. So, spell. You see, the range is so small. So, so small. And to be honest, it just doesn't feel like it's dealing crazy damage. I'm not the biggest fan of the Eclipse spell. But just in general, I'm not a big fan of spells, personally. Unless there's something, like, super special that uh, are very, very effective, right? And there are some of them, don't get me wrong. But the majority of them are not that, wow, I need to use this spell in my deck, basically, right? So if we're using this, check this out. You see, the range is so small. And uh, the damage is not very impressive at all. Like my safe pilot, I'm pretty sure he's going to deal more damage with the landing. Oh, oh, way more damage with the landing than that. Yeah, way more damage. Way more than that. Damn vulture, I have a vulture right there. Pinching on my tank. So let's, let's send in a troll. Basically, I just wanted to mess, uh, uh, mess around a little bit, guys, with... Uh, with the new uh, the new minis, right? I don't want to go in and quickly smash the fight because uh, that's kind of like uh, killing the purpose of what I'm trying to do. So let's see, can we use the spell? Okay. The, the solar one is much, much better. Like, the damage feels much better. That's why I feel like boosting the damage with a talent, uh, it can be nice. It might bring a good chunk of damage. Now, considering how small the range is, I would really... Uh, expect it to be a bit more uh, more effective in terms of like how much damage it deals but one thing that um, sucks a little bit is that uh, I'm a bit under leveled right uh, so um, it's pretty hard to make it make justice for the spell like this but on first impressions and from what I've tried before as well I'm not too too impressed with the spell though and the trend is just kind of like a good filler as well you know it might uh, it might turn uh, turn out to be uh, something really important for um, maybe upcoming content or in some of the in some of the raids. You know, that's definitely a possibility as well. So let's uh, see. Can we go in here? These are usually uh, slightly slightly easier. So maybe the spell will be on a plain field here. Let's see. Okay, still level 23. My bad. I don't know why I remember that it might be different. So let's drop in some trends. Okay, get your twins up and uh, up and running. Get your clones. Okay. Ooh, the safe pilot ins insta wrecks the, the, the trends, of course. So let's see this. You see the damage? I mean, this is not bad. This is not bad versus this uh, enemy. But it doesn't feel like very impressive, you know? You know what I mean? Like when the safe pilot just nukes in, the damage feels better than the spell. True, I do have higher levels on uh, my safe pilot, so the again very hard to compare that. Very hard to compare that. 
So right now we have it at a cost of two. And I'm actually going to wait a little bit with the spell though. So let's deploy that. And once, once we have them coming out, let's see, we're hitting those two. Okay. As you probably noticed on the second, uh, second uh, one that we hit right here, the second clone, the damage was pretty weak. So not, not too excited about the spell. If you're very limited on the, uh, on the tickets you can collect for the event, I would probably just get one star for the spell, and I, I would push into getting some better rewards instead. You know, so we're gonna come back to it uh, later. Let's head into a match of PvP. We're pretty high with this leader and still not at the very, very top. So we'll see what uh, sort of enemies we're going to encounter. I, I, like, uh, I like group... I, I was going to say I love... I love group, uh, group minis. But when they are flying units, like the Batlings, uh, we have the Harpies. I prefer them way, way more over Chickens, Trans, and the rest of them, you know? I just feel like they're they're bringing so so much value, you know. And look at that. We're not even one shotting the harpies though. So, yeah, I'm not. I'm definitely not not a fan of the spell though. I feel like it's not that impressive. Friends, go in and attack as well, please. Give us a give us a bit of help. Oof. Oof. Danger. Okay, let's go with the solar. Solar Flame and see how much damage we're dealing versus the tower as well. Curious. Okay. The damage versus the tower was not bad, actually. That was a good chunk. For the cost of 3 gold. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. Now, the trends are moving so slow that it's pretty pointless to deploy them versus the, <clears throat> versus the tower, right? So I'm going to put a Fire Elemental tank right there. Then let's take this gold from here. Let's put a flying unit. And let's put a spell. Okay. It almost felt like we are not hitting the flying unit with a spell. I think so. It looked like we are not hitting the flying unit with a spell, but maybe I'm wrong on it. Let's deploy Trent, the Trent on the side right there to distract a little bit. You're not taking any more gold from me. Go away. So let's see. Okay, around 50% of the HP on the troll. It's not bad, but not great. Like we have the Blizzard is just such, a, such an amazing spell versus this one. Or uh, it's not even just the Blizzard. Just... Even if you're using Polymorph, if you're running different things, like you're gaining way more value from it. And same with the Trends. Uh, I think that it's fun to have them in the game, but they're moving pretty slow. I feel like the, they're just not bringing you a lot of value. So let's see. Harpies, you see? The Solar much better. Yes, it does come at a cost gold of 3, but at least you are killing something with, uh, with the Solar one. So definitely the Talent to boost the damage for the solar spell and uh, definitely the root for trends because they're dying so quick just uh, grabbing those uh, enemies and uh, keeping them uh, in place is very very important let me know your thoughts in the comments down below what do you think about the new minis what do you think about the new event guys the thanksgiving event are you going for both of the minis or you're not too sure just yet as usual, appreciate all of you guys watching. Big shout out to Blizzard for sponsoring this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.